Across the river, Lockie is arriving for his date with artistic performer Georgia on a mission to be honest about how he feels. You can start by sending that drink back. My name's Georgia, I'm 26. I'm looking for someone who is down to earth, someone that doesn't take life too seriously, and most importantly, someone that's gonna come and rave with me and my nan. Your nan? Well, Lockie's not one to turn down a threesome. Hi. <laughs> how you doing, you good? Nice to meet you. Mwah. Pleasure. Just, I feel like you're brown under me. That's not fair. What do you mean it's not fair? <laughs> I'm just definitely on a sunbed last night. Just saying. On a sunbed? Well, I'm naturally this colour. You're not. I'm brown. Mahogany. <laughs> okay. you know? I woke up this morning and I paint myself because I'm Ron still. <laughs> you know? It does exactly what it says on the tin. May cause skin irritation and vomiting. This girl's quite tasty. She ain't afraid to give me a bit of back chat straight out of the gate, but I quite like it. How old are you? How old do I look? 30. So I'll take that, I suppose. I'm 32. I'm okay. living like I'm an 18 year old, you know. Yeah. I'm getting older. Peter Pan. Who wants to grow up? No one wants to grow Nutty. up. Who? I'm like having cocoa props for three meals a day and living in Ibiza. <laughs> I don't want to grow up. Someone should introduce her to tapas. Are you an Ibiza chick here? Yeah? It's my first time this year, okay. but How'd you only find for it? work. Like, for work? Yeah. Okay, so what do you do? I'm a dancer, performer, oh, yeah. like fire breathing. Candle wax shows. Like... Candle wax shows? Yeah. <laughs> oh, now he's perking up. Candle wax? This girl could be a keeper. Especially in a power cut. Yeah, You've not met a nan until met you met my nan. Oh, really? Character, yeah? I like that, though. Like, I like she comes characters. on holiday with me, raving. Your nan? Yeah. She's on Instagram, she's on Snapchat. She's on Instagram? Like... I'm going to listen, tell me, I'll follow her. <laughs> She'll slip straight into the DMs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she will. That's like a good girl. My, my dad's a bit of a character. My dad comes away with me. My dad's like my best pal. Yeah. He's not single, is he? Because her nan sounds well up for it. I just come back from Turkey. Oh, yeah? I went in to get my teeth sorted. <laughs> I was looking like the donkey from Trek. Nothing wrong with that. No, I went and got them done earlier this year. I come back and then, like, people had to wear sunglasses to talk to me, so I had to go back and get them sorted again. But well, they were too white. No, they were too big. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I need a flight to Turkey tonight. I don't give a fuck. Istanbul, Bodrum. I'll get a cab when I'm there. How did you get into dancing? I cheerleaded for a football team. Then I got into, like, the circus side of things. Fire breathing, fetish shows. Fetish? What sort of fetish is One thing we had to do was wear, like, a pig mask and, like, just pour blood all over us and, like, twerk. Um, honestly, the things Where I was had this? to do... Where was this? David Cameron's house? Topical gag from 2015 there. Essex. Oh. Essex? Yeah. I've been invited to one of these parties. Vegetarian, so it really hurt my feelings. Imagine how the pig felt. You're a vegetarian? Yeah. I was like, not the pig. <laughs> She's wild and she keep on my toes, but pig mass, roll around in blood, that's almost too much for me. Don't knock it till you tried it, it really gives your skin a boost. If I could eat like one meat thing now, I'd be like chorizo. That's one thing really? I miss. Yeah, okay. A big chorizo. <laughs> Steady on, girl. Would you settle for a pepper army and a lay-by? <laughs> All right. So I'll get your knickers in a twist. Um, I don't have any on. Do have knickers on? I like to live my best free naked life. I like that. Listen, I'm, I'm, I'm against knickers. Yeah. Who needs a pair of knickers? You don't wear knickers, <laughs> neither do I. They're pointless, though, aren't they? They're pointless, especially when they're going to come off. Lad. Oh. Oh, dear. No, we've got to take them off, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. You're not me. I'm not saying I was going to take your knickers off. That's exactly what you were saying, and she knows it. So, what do you think you're going to tell the agency about me? The no knickers part was great. Pig's blood, uh, not so much. So, the agent told me to be completely honest with Georgia about how I'm finding a date. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I think you're, I think you're a nice girl, but this is only my second date. Wow. You know? So, obviously, this is like a, a journey in itself. Nice to meet loads of new people. Yeah, so I need to go on, obviously, I'm going to go on more other dates. Obviously. It's not to say that I won't go, like, in the future, we could possibly go on a date, but at the minute, I'm, I'm going to be straight with you. Like, See I'm what's gonna... out there. Yeah. Well, that's gone down like a pig face twerk at a tea party. On that note, should we get out of it? Yeah, let's. We had lots to talk about. It was really fun, down to earth, but it just turns out that he doesn't want to go on another date. My oh, pleasure. Take care. Bye. Whereas before, I'd just run straight into something. You know, I want to try and grow as a person as well as finding Mrs. Locke.